I remember how it used to be. It used to be that the wrestling was fake and everybody knew it, but at least to a certain degree, a certain level, you were able to suspend your disbelief enough because the talents were good enough, they were actually good enough as workers to make the stuff look real, look believable. You could actually buy into what was happening. All the while, guys weren't really hurting each other and they were making a bunch of money doing so and becoming big stars in the process. And now we've gotten to this point over the past several years in professional wrestling where the wrestling is real and as a consequence it looks faker than it ever has been. Idiots are going out there and legitimately hurting each other for far less money and far less exposure and star power. What the hell gives? In some ways you could sit there and go back in the history of wrestling and take the easy way out and blame something like ECW and saying that these kids that grew up watching ECW and the extreme violent hardcore crap now have gotten into the business and they think that's the way to go. Unfortunately, that doesn't tell the full story of what ECW was. Yes, at times it was extremely violent. At times it could live up to the moniker, indeed, of extremely crappy wrestling. At the same point in time, though, you also had well-developed, interesting characters, a stable of young talent that would put any promotion in existence today to absolute shame. You also had well-developed, intricate, multi-layered stories that were played out very, very well. And while in general it was violent crap wrestling, there were times where it fit. There were times where it made sense. And you could sit there and say, because they were working for Paul Heyman back in the 90s, that these guys were ultimately marks because they were going out there and killing themselves and they weren't getting paid. Sometimes they did though. But you look at this now and it's another perfect example of when you talk about who the marks are and who the real marks are when it comes to wrestling today, more often than not, time after time after time, it is proven. It is not you, me, any of the fans. The real marks are the ones that are actually in the business. Because for me, coming on here and talking about it on YouTube, you guys commenting on, on this video, watching this video, talking about it on social media, more often than not, unless you're doing some fantasy uh, backyard fed or wrestling in a warehouse or something, you're not sitting there and trying to legitimately hurt yourself and hurt other people just for the kicks of it. And it seems like that's what we're doing here in professional wrestling. And another shining example of this is the spot that was shown this past week on Impact between Sammy Callahan and Eddie Edwards. Now, I know because of it being a TV taping, this was something taped several weeks ago, and this is perhaps old news, but it is getting a new run. And now that you actually see the footage, and I've gotten to see the footage, the only thing that stands out to me how, is how incredibly, incredibly stupid this whole damn spot and situation is. Like, it's weird because, on the one hand, this was the most watched episode of Impact since last July. It'll be interesting to see what happens in the weeks to come. But on the other hand, you're looking at this. You have a match between Callahan and Edwards. Edwards wins, then Callahan attacks him afterwards to the point where we bring out a steel chair and instead of like laying it flat across his midsection and maybe using your stupid ass baseball bat to hit him that way or doing something else, we do this incredibly awkward, dumb looking fake ass crap where Eddie Edwards is just sitting there and holding the fucking chair because again, who thinks this looks legit in any way, shape, or form? Who actually buys this? And who actually thinks this is a good idea? To watch as Sally Ca Sammy Callahan sits there and winds up with the bat and ends up hitting it off the top of the back of the chair. It ricochets and goes right into freaking Eddie Edwards' face and the dumb son of a bitch is lucky he didn't lose a freaking eye. Like, who draws up the concept for this spot 
and thinks that this has any potential to go well? Who draws up the concept for this spot and thinks that this is what it needs to be about and this is the way that you're going to get any type of heat and advance the story? And if so, what does that say about you and your talent or in Sally, Sammy Callahan's case, the lack of talent because that's the only trick that you have in your bag. This is what you've got to do in order to try and get yourself over. It is absolutely pathetic. You could have potentially ruined a guy's career and I understand shit happens and ultimately Eddie Edwards signed off on this spot and he's stupid for doing so too. But it is just when you look at the spot and the way it was constructed and the way it was laid out, neither one of these guys was smart enough to say, hey, this is going to look like shit. Hey, this could potentially go bad. Hey, you're actually using your real bat, you dumb son of a bitch. Maybe, just maybe, this could go disastrously bad. And we're going to hit a small target with absolutely no thought to what could happen if this goes bad and what will happen when it goes bad and not really paying attention to the fact that it didn't even look very good anyways. Like, what was this spot really going to accomplish? You're going to hit the back of the chair as the thing is prone across his midsection when he's freaking holding it. This is so stupid. I'll at least give Impact and Callahan credit for it. They're trying to run with it, and he's trying to stay in character here because you've already done it. The guy's freaking eye socket was fractured all hell. You might as well run with it and see where it goes. That's fine. The whole problem is the stupid part of doing this spot to begin with. Again, we have now gotten to the point in professional wrestling, and have for several years unfortunately, where guys do real wrestling, looks fake as shit, and they really hurt each other for not a lot of money. Who's the fucking marks here? Instead of learning how to be a real talent, instead of actually learning how to work a character, learning how to tell a story in a match, instead of learning how to actually work the crowd, instead of learning how to actually get real heat, this is the type of cheap, pathetic shit we get to go to, and we have to use as our backdrop and our default, and this is the type of crap that happens. I'm okay with doing violent stuff when it's called for, when there is a potential to make more money on a randomly thrown away Fuck off episode of Impact, this spot was stupid, the whole concept of it is stupid, and both Sammy Callahan and Eddie Edwards for thinking up the spot, having the concept of the spot, and the execution of the spot are completely and totally idiotic for doing so. It was just dumb. It's stupid. And professional wrestling needs to be better than this hot garbage. And of course it won't be. Because now... There are going to be other idiots in the business that sit there and see the attention Sally, Sammy Callahan's getting, and they think it's a good idea. And they think this is a good way to get attention. They think this is going to be a good way. And never mind the fact that the number one goal of the program when you're supposed to be a professional wrestler is protect the other guy because they're literally putting their careers, their livelihoods in your hands. And this is how dumb dick Sammy Callahan repays the favor. This is not what professional wrestling should be. This is not what it's supposed to be. And unfortunately, it's exactly what the fuck it is. And that's why sometimes it's hard to be a wrestling fan nowadays because you see stupid crap like this and you wonder if we will ever get back to having sanity in the business ever again.